Ireland is a beautiful place to get out and explore. Mysterious and majestic mountains, rugged cliffs battered by the elements, lovely lakelands, landscapes, valleys and shores. These places pull on our inner primitive desires to be out and saturate ourselves in nature. For beginner hikers, however, these places can seem both daunting and intimidating. Hey, how you doing? I hope you're all well. Uh, as you can see... Woo! Yeah, ankle ligaments. So hiking is becoming more and more popular as more and more new people get into it. So these are my top five tips to get out there hiking in Ireland. So these tips really are just for beginners and people who are starting off. Um, please do listen, you, you might find something interesting, but if you have more experience then this video probably isn't for you. Kind of sound like that really annoying dental ad you get at the start of YouTube videos. If you don't have perfect straight teeth, click away now. Ding! Anyway, 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 moving on, moving on, moving on. And let's begin with number one. Keep it short, keep it small. You know, find a small loop trail, a small track, small hills, you know, start off easy and then start building yourself up. Any place in Ireland that I've been, I've always encountered small Koitsche forest tracks, loop trails, uh, lovely walk. Find those small tracks and trails and walk them. Build up your fitness, build up your confidence. If you do want to head to the hills and the mountains, just find something small. Like an ideal one that's close to me is Diamond Hill. It's about 400 and something meters, but it kind of gives you a taste of, of, of what's to come. Now, if you are pushed for the mountains, I would recommend sticking with ones that have uh, well-worn paths, the likes of Cropatrick. But with a caveat, Cropatrick can be quite a dangerous mountain. You know, do a little research, do a little digging around, see what's in your local area. Um, one fantastic resource I found when I was starting out was uh, mailwalks.ie. Number two, don't spend a fortune buying gear. Hiking gear can be expensive and for very good reason. If you get stuck out in the middle of nowhere and you have to spend a number of hours out waiting for somebody to help you or, or rescue you, you are gonna get cold. Good quality hiking gear is designed to potentially save your life in those situations. However, when you're starting out, there's no reason whatsoever that you should go out spending hundreds of euros on hiking gear to kit yourself out, hit the trail, and find out you don't actually like it. When I started hiking, I didn't really have the dosh to throw around. And um, what I did do was I got myself a reasonably priced pair of decent hiking boots. I got a decent rain jacket from Port West, but I got my hiking shirt, hiking trousers, hiking bag, all from Lidl. Uh, they, they, they were cheap and cheerful, but they did the job. The most important thing that you need to worry about when you're starting off is how comfortable you are and whether or not you're adequately clothed for an extended period outdoors. Like if you're walking out in country lanes or forest tracks, like runners are gonna be totally fine. As you progress and want more challenges and find more technically difficult hikes, then start upgrading your gear, then start putting money into it because you know at this stage that it's something you enjoy and you want to continue to do. One little tip that I'll give you is wait to the end of the season sales. The beautiful thing about hiking for me is it's not about fashion, it's about practicality. And the thing that you buy at the end of a season for 25% cheaper, will still be able to use the next year. And if you keep doing that, then you'll be able to accumulate decent hiking gear at quite a, a reduced cost. Number three, the right gear for the right conditions. Everyone living in Ireland realizes that you can get five different types of weather in the space of two hours. So on a loop or a trail, I would recommend hiking shoes or runners, depending on the trail. If you're walking on mainly wooded paths, then you won't necessarily need the hiking shoes. But some loop trails are a bit more mucky. Hiking shoes would be really good. You can go for hiking boots, but I think hiking shoes do the job. Make sure you bring some comfy clothes. A rain jacket is vitally important. Also, it's handy to have a bag so you can put your water and your snacks in with you. On small tracks and loop trails, you're not going to be out for that long, so you don't really need that much stuff. What you bring up the mountains can vary depending on the weather also. I normally bring hiking boots, but I can also bring hiking shoes. If I'm hitting Crowpatrick or maybe even Diamond Hill, then I just bring my hiking shoes because they weigh less and they're not as bulky. A quite important thing for the mountains that I have found is get yourself a decent pair of hiking socks. This can really reduce the chance of getting blisters. Comfy synthetics. 
Should you be up in the mountains, you get hit with the downpour. The last thing you want to be wearing are cottons and jeans. The rain will soak into the clothing and make your clothes heavier. Extra layers are really, really important, particularly for when you get to the top. The higher you go up, the colder it's going to get. And if you stay at the top for about 10, 15 minutes, then your body temperature will drop. A rain jacket is really, really important, especially if you get hit with a shower. I normally get away with wearing water resistant trousers. I find them quite good and they dry really, really quickly. So you don't necessarily need waterproof trousers. Make sure you bring a bag to carry everything. Something that I found very, very useful and relatively cheap are dry bags. They're excellent at keeping things dry, like your phone and any, any other electrical equipment. Number four, hike at your own pace, take your time, soak it in, and enjoy. This might seem like an obvious one, but it, it, it took me quite a while to figure it out. And, and I see quite a lot of other people uh, doing the same thing. When I started out, I had this mentality of getting from A to B as quickly as possible. I even time myself to see how fast I've done it. But the silly thing is, like, who was I racing? To me now it doesn't make sense, but back then I just got caught up into the A to B. A lot of the time we're out there to get out into nature, clear the head, and it doesn't really make sense to go smash it out as fast as possible. But at the same time, if you're going from A to B as soon as possible, you're only going back to what you tried to get away from uh, faster. As I said, it took me quite a while to figure this out. And now that I have figured it out, I, I take a lot more time. I find a spot, I'll sit down, I'll, I'll just look out. Might have a cup of tea or something. For anybody that's interested, the, the, the person for me who personifies this more than anyone is uh, Irish Hikes at Allen, who you can find on Instagram. Um, he does it quite beautifully. And is someone I definitely think you should check out. So just take your time and, and embrace the fact that you're outdoors and you're in nature and, and just soak it up as much as possible. Number five, leave no trace. We are so lucky in Ireland to be blessed with beautiful scenery and stunning landscapes and we need to do everything that we can to help protect that. When I head out hiking on an adventure, I want to experience this place in, in, in all its pristine beauty. But yet, I don't know how many times I've got annoyed by people discarding their rubbish. It becomes extremely disheartening and very disrespectful to nature itself. Now listen, I'm not trying to proselytize anyone. Um, a lot of people that, that, that leave stuff behind more often than not are more uneducated in the leave no trace principle and a lot of people actually haven't heard of it. Some of the main culprits I spot when I'm out walking are uh, wrappers, drinks bottles, banana skins, peelings of oranges, uh, leftover apples, that sort of stuff. I know what you might be thinking, but they biodegrade. But it takes a banana skin two years to biodegrade. Now, just think about that. If everybody is just firing out banana skins as they're walking, it becomes more popular. All that's going to happen is you're going to go out there and you're going to just see banana skins everywhere. You're going to see litter everywhere. Take Ben Nevis, for example. At one weekend in 2019, they took, off the, just off the summit, 8 kgs of just banana skins. Not the actual bananas themselves, but the banana skins. They take a colossal amount of banana skins off that mountain every year. But if people just took their rubbish with them, that wouldn't need to happen. So please, please, please respect the beauty of nature and whatever you bring out, take back with you. Now, if you are interested to find out more about Leave No Trace, I will leave a link in the description below that you can check out and you can check out their uh, seven principles uh, to Leave No Trace. So that's it for my top five tips for beginner hikers in Ireland. If you feel that I've left something out, please leave it in the comments below because it's always good for new hikers to see more information and any bit of information that you have or any advice that you have would be absolutely fantastic for, for people to, to read. So uh, throw it in the comments below. Hey, stop it, stop that. Sorry, Luna just making loads of noise and trying to ruin my video. Come here and help me save my video, Luna. Make it cute again. Come on. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Luna wanted to say hello, and Luna also wants you to subscribe to my channel uh, if you found this useful. Um, check out my... <laughs>
If you found what you saw useful, uh, I do have a coffee page and if you fancy buying me a beer for my efforts, uh, I know Luna would love a beer as well. You can check out the my social media channels, Mountain Mike's Adventures. Uh, have a wonderful time guys, happy hiking, stay safe and take care of yourself. Say goodbye Luna. Huh? See? Look, see? No. Uh, she's gone. Thank you so much to everybody who supported me on my Kofi thus far. And I want to give a special shout out to Caroline, Ellie Berry and Ornette. Guys, you're bloody awesome.